now. Okay. Right. Thank you. Safe. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. My name is Chen. I'm from Laos, but today we're doing Thai cooking. So we're doing jasmine rice, a red curry with vegetables and tofu. And we're gonna, that's a vegan dish. And another dish we'll make is um, basil chicken. So we're gonna start with um, jasmine rice. What I have here is jasmine rice. I rinsed it well because uh, the rice dishes came from Thailand. You wanna rinse your rice and drain it well. So I'm gonna pour it in here. And so after you rinse it well, you're gonna add, that's two cups of jasmine rice. I'm gonna add water, two, three cups of water, two cups of jasmine rice. Oh, let me, and we're gonna put this on the heat. And you're gonna bring this to a boil. As soon as it's boiled, you're gonna turn it low and simmer for six to eight minutes and then turn it off and let it sit for 10 minutes. Very simple. Okay, for, so if you're just gonna make rice, any kind of rice you want, that's, what, that's all you do. But if you wanna make it a coconut rice, you wanna add the coconut oil or coconut milk, half and half with water, either one. You don't need to do both. And this is coconut oil, the same one that you can use for your face, for your body. So save this, you can put your finger in there and put it on your face like I do. Gonna bring this to a boil. Okay, actually this heat is very, very hot. I'm gonna turn it a little bit less. On the stove, you wanna put it on hot. I'm gonna cover this loose because I might forget to come back. And if you can you get very close, very, very close. Okay, so that's jasmine rice. I add the coconut water in here. Okay, bring this to a boil. You can add a teaspoon a teaspoon or two teaspoons of salt if you want to, but I don't like salt in my rice. So I'm just gonna cover this, bring it to a boil. As soon as it's boil, I'm gonna turn it very, very low and let it simmer for six to eight minutes and then turn it off and let it sit for 10 minutes and then you get a very nice fluffy rice. Okay, we'll come back to that. Okay, now we're gonna make curry, red curry. Give me a minute to put my gloves on. I like to wear gloves because it protects my hands. Some, a lot of people don't, I do. I like to wear gloves, even I'm cooking for myself at home. Okay, gonna turn on the heat. I have a wok over here. I'm gonna add coconut oil. It's a little bit much, but you don't have to add that much, but that's okay. Now let that melt. I have here is red curry. It's come in a can like this is called red curry. It's many different curry. Um, can you see this okay? It will look like this when you open it. Okay. And you're just gonna use a quarter of this can and the rest of it, you freeze them. Okay, I'm gonna put this in a pan, in a wok. You don't need a wok. Come over here very close. Okay, turn on medium heat. Not too hot because if it's too hot, it's gonna splash. Okay, it's splashing already. Ah, <laughs> it's a bit too hot. Okay, we're gonna let this simmer while we are doing other things. Okay. I'm gonna knock my rice. Okay, we're gonna let this simmer. It's, it's tricky with this um, electric wok. Just use, at home, you just wanna use a regular wok on your stove top, keep the heat on medium for the curry. When you do this, add the um, curry to the hot um, oil like this. Can you move very close? And it will be, um, release the aroma and flavor, okay? I don't wanna turn on, on too much here, so I'll leave it there. And now we're gonna come back to this. So I have here is wood ear mushroom. Wood ear mushroom come in a big bag like this. They call dry fungus, they call something else. So don't pay attention to the name. Just look, get it. It will look like this. Sometimes smaller, sometimes this is the biggest one. So this is how much I soak. And this is how much I got. 
from the little thing to this big thing. They sell this in supermarket, but don't buy those because about this much were about six, seven dollars. And if you go to super um, Asian supermarket, you get this big bag, fill this bag for five to six, same price. You get a lot more, 10 times more, okay? So this is how much I soak and this is how much I get. Soak it in a warm water. If you don't have time, like today, I forgot to soak it. So I boil it for a few minutes. And this, okay, you're gonna keep a bowl right next to you to your cutting board, anything you trim off, you're gonna add it to that. You're gonna save that scraps to make vegetable stock. Okay, this wood here, it's nice texture. This grow on a tree that's, and looks like ear, that's why they call it wood ear. Okay, what's going on here? <clears throat> okay, and we're gonna use coconut milk. Coconut milk, shake it well. To make the coconut you need, a um, mature coconut. Um, this brown thing in a supermarket, it just come very close. I'm going to place it down so it's better. Okay, this brown coconut, it always has three eyes. What you do is you just want to pick it up, shake it. If it's heavy, that means there's water in there. If it's light, that means probably it's not going to be good. And shake it, you can hear water, that's great. And you're going to poke, you're going to get this too. You're going to poke the eyes here. And you're going to turn this upside down. And you're gonna drain this in a cup. Oh, I should get a cup. And then after you get a cup, you can put this in a plastic bag. And you're gonna go in your backyard and gonna smash this on the concrete floor. Or you can use a hammer and hit it, hit it, keep hitting it, and then it will break. And after it breaks, inside it's gonna be. Um, oh, let me back up a little bit. When the coconut is young and green, it's had. Um, um, water inside and the meat is very tender after you drink your, your water when you go to Florida, but not right now, there's a hurricane coming. When you go to Florida or Kudut Key or any tropical country, the green coconut has a lot nice water and then you will drink the water and you'll have them with, with a big knife to crack it open. And then after they open, you're going to drink it and then the meat is very tender, you can scrape it with the um, um, a spoon, so you will eat the meat, the tender, but now the coconut is very mature. After I go back a little bit, after you crack it open, mature coconut, the meat is very hard, okay? You're gonna use a small knife to pick the meat off the shell, very hard shell. You can hit somebody with this. And then to make coconut, it's only two ingredients, mature coconut meat and warm water. You put it in a blender and blend it and use you put in a strainer and you could get the coconut milk, but today we got a can, okay? All right, let's come back to here. My curry, I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit. Shake it well. I'm gonna punch it, just stay right here. Okay. Okay. If you wanna add meat, you add meat right now. Because we're making a vegan, so I'm going to add. go ahead and add the coconut, coconut milk. So there's a coconut water. There's a water from inside a coconut. That's when you drink that. It's very, very good for you. Just a little bit sweet, not sugary sweet. It's very good for you. Okay, I'm going to add salt. That's the wrong one. Teaspoon salt. One tablespoon sugar, more or less, as you like it. And this is fish sauce, two tablespoon fish sauce. You can leave that out, just increase your salt. Bring, and then you're gonna add your wood ear mushroom first. If you wanna add carrots, you can add it now because the carrots need to cook before others. Okay, we're gonna come back to this. I'm gonna cover, okay. Bring it to a boil and we'll add other ingredients. Okay, come back to the rice. You come very close to here. See the rice is boiling. It's very hot, so I'm gonna turn it very, very low, as low as you can. Okay. And we're gonna leave it here for a few more minutes, six to eight minutes. Get it lower. 
Okay. Six to eight minutes, and we'll turn it off. Okay. Okay. This is boiling very quick. Okay. It is on high right now. I'm gonna let that cook. I'm gonna chop up all my vegetables here. Let me cover while I'm cut, chopping other ingredients. So I have here, it's um, sugar snap pea. You can do it whole or you can snap it. This is very sweet. You can eat this raw, it's very good. Or you can cut it in half, cut it in an angle like that, make it look nice. Whatever you like, the whole or half or angle, okay? And I have here, it's cauliflower. You can add any vegetables you want, but you just need to know what need to go in first or last. If you add um, carrots and and um, green beans, that need to go in with the with your mushroom. This vegetable cook fast, so I will add it later. All these together can cook at the same time. Wash it well. And I have here is tofu. Uh, tofu. You can add the tofu is made from soybean. You want to cut it in cubes. Okay, let me add this vegetable first. Okay, I'm going to add the cauliflower, sugar snap pea. Oh, this is going in. They cook fast. Nothing is cooked ahead of time. The cooking is very fast. And the preparation takes a long time. So do that ahead of time. Watch, chop. Okay, I'm going to cover that. Let it cook. And come back here to cut the tofu. So I'm using the whole package of tofu that I buy from supermarkets is one pound, but I'm using whole pound, whole package because if I do half and then you don't know what to do with the rest. So that's what I'm doing whole, you can do half. This is one pound of it. Okay. Try to be neat here because I'm a little messy. Okay. I have here, this is um, red, red curry is already spicy. I'm going to add my friend's hot peppers here. Let's just come very close to here. This is Thai chili. I'm going to put the whole because for some people who like spicy, they can eat the bite into the my friend's hot peppers. Okay, I'm going to add the tofu. Tofu is already cooked, you just want to heat it up. Okay. Oh, flashing. Okay, don't stir it too much. You want the extra firm tofu, firm or extra firm, because if you get the soft tofu, it's going to fall apart. What it is, it's just soft, and then like, which means it has more water. Okay, I'm going to cover this. I'll come back to that. Okay. Let's check on the rice. See, the rice is ready. Nice and fluffy. I'm going to turn it off. And sometimes it will stick on the bottom a little bit. Sometimes it's a little bit wet like this. That's why you have to let it sit for another 10 minutes. Okay. We're going to let it sit and we'll come back to it. It will be nice and fluffy. If it's stick on the bottom a little bit, no big deal, okay? It will be absorbed. Okay. I have here is scallions. Wash it well. Trim up the roots and save this in here. You're going to save that in the um, freezer bag and put it in the freezer. Every time you cook, you're going to add to it. And then when you have a big bag or freezer bag or two or three, and you put in a pot, add water to cover it and boil to get vegetables stuck. 
if you want it to be chicken chicken stock and then you add um add whole chicken to it but don't throw out the chicken after you cook them um this is basil regular basil i did not have time to go to get a thai basil at amasachuan and i chop my herb the reason for that is because i, I leave it whole leaves and people will pull it out and throw it out because i want everybody to eat the um herb that i added in here because it's good for you you can add as much as you want right now most of the people will grow their um so add as much as you want and it will just add, make the food taste good <clears throat> okay i will add more than this when i'm cooking for myself add a big bowl all right let's come back to here i think everything is cooked right now you want you can add red onions to this if you want to, or you can add um red peppers to make it look nice. Why with the tofu if you wanna add any of those? <clears throat> okay, this is cooked. Okay, I'm gonna try. They cook very fast, okay. And you don't wanna overcook your vegetables, and I'm gonna add the scallions and basil create a little bit of garnish and that's it everything is cooked you want to cook your vegetable until they are cooked you don't want to kill them if they overcook they don't taste good you want to cook them until you can taste the sweetness and the uh, um, freshness of the vegetables so you know what you're eating okay 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 i'm gonna turn up the heat that's done I'm going to plate that. I'm going to transfer that to a big pasta bowl and serve with rice that we made. Okay. See, everything is cooking right here, right now. No magic or anything. Okay. Put it in here. Um, if you want to buy, uh, stay right here for now. Um, you don't need a wok to cook Asian food. Come very close. You don't need a wok to cook Asian food, and you don't. The, and a wok does not have to be cooking Asian food. You can cook anything. If you don't have a wok, just use a big pot or a um, frying pan, large frying pan. Make sure you have a nice big pan. That way you don't spill all over when you stir or mix. Otherwise, you're going to be spilling and just stay very close to the bowl. Because you will make a mess and then you'll hate cleaning it up unless you like cleaning, but I don't. Okay, this is red curry. The curry is just, um, it's a paste come in the can that are mixed of all the spices. When you say curry, that means yellow curry from India. And then if you want red curry or yellow, uh, green curry, you're gonna have to specify it. It come in a can that's made in Thailand. Okay, a little bit here. It doesn't really need garnish because you get all this color rest. I'm gonna put it over here and we're gonna taste this later. Okay, you can just stay right there. I am cleaning this up. <clears throat> i put this in there. Think. Okay, we have one more dish to make. Let me clean up a little bit here. I'm just wiping, you can move over here. I'm just wiping my wok so I can use it again. I'm using electric wok because I'm doing demo here. At cooking for myself, I'm at home. <laughs> cooking for myself, I'm just using um. Regular wok with the long handle. You want to use a regular wok with a long handle so that way you can handle it easily. Okay, that's right. I wipe that nice and clean. So I have one more dish to make. Okay, now we're going to make, um, you can stay here. Okay, let me get rid of the things that I don't need anymore. Okay. 
Okay. Good. So, so my cookbook, Simple Laotian Cooking and Healthy Lao Cuisine. Two cookbooks so far. If I have time, I'll write some more. We'll see. Hopefully soon. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to cut the chicken. Okay, right clean so I can use it again. Done with this. Okay, all right, let's check on the rice again. Look at that, nice and fluffy. See, nothing stick on the bottom now. Let me move it over here so it's easier for myself. Scrape the bottom right now. Anything thick, it will come right up. It will moisten and see, nice and fluffy. Okay, we're gonna close this up. Put it here. We'll eat that later. Okay, let's make basil chicken. Okay. We're gonna start with garlic. Oh, where is my, okay, I have it here. You're gonna hit, in the back, let it open a little bit, hit, hit it, or you can chop it. This is, you don't have to get your hand dirty. Just hit, hit, hit. If I need just a little bit, I just, just hit it in the back like this. If I want a lot more, and I will put in a mini chopper. If you want more chop, you hit some more. You want it very finely chop, you tilt it and hit, hit, hit. Okay. Okay. You tilt it and you hit, but not too hard at the time because it's gonna break the bag and run out. Okay. This one I'm not using coconut milk or coconut oil because coconut oil has flavor. Okay, I'm adding just regular oil, olive oil, or any canola oil, or anything. Anything will do. I'm not using peanut oil because some people are allergic to peanuts. So I mostly just use olive oil. Okay, ready? Well, that will go in when the pan is hot. I'm waiting for the pan to be hot. Turn the heat all the way up. Just wipe this a little bit so I can use it again. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you how to cut the chicken because at the library, I was not able to show you how to cut the chicken because handling the raw chicken in the library was not a good idea. You can use any um, part of the, the chicken. I'm using breast because a lot of people don't eat, only eat white meat. You cut in a strip first and you're gonna cut across, you trim up the fat. That here. You cut in the um, thin pieces to be bite side pieces. Okay. Long strips. Don't cut it too thick because it will take longer to cook. You want it thin bite side pieces so you can absorb all the flavor. You can do this ahead of time. I like to chop them, put in a container and put it in the freezer, one portion at a time. So that way when I need it, I just bring it out. Okay, my oil is ready. Just come very close. Okay, that's my garlic. I want it to be light brown to bring out a lot of flavor. Okay, you want a light brown, not dark brown. When it's burned, it will be bitter. If it's light brown, you'll get tons of flavor. If you don't brown them and you get the raw garlic taste, the brown flavor and the brown give you a lot, a lot of flavor. Okay, we're gonna leave this here for a minute. My pan wasn't hot enough. It was hot enough, it's only take a few seconds. Okay.
Okay, it's browning. See that? If you're not experienced, you want to stop it that you add your chicken immediately, but I am good. So I am going to go a little bit more brown. See right here, see that nice brown? But be careful, it only takes a few seconds for it to burn. I am very, very good. So I'm going to make it nice brown here, tons and tons of flavor. Okay, I'm going to add my chicken right now. Okay, the heat is on high. I'm going to add salt, one teaspoon salt with one pound of chicken. Let this cook. Uh, this electric wax, it kind of pulls a little bit, but at, at the um, stove, you right, use a regular wax. At the stove, this will go very, very quick. Okay, I'm going to let this cook for a few seconds while I am cleaning up. I'm gonna let that cook. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna show you how to. Oh, I forgot to show you how to peel the garlic. I have washed off. This has to go. Okay, I cut the chicken. I have to remove that. Um, the garlic, you have to, if you wash it, it peel very nicely and you trim this off. Okay, see how easy it peels? They come right off. And this, because it's already washed and clean, you put it in this bowl, save that. That's flavor, okay? Okay, come back here. Now let the chicken cook. A few more minutes. I'm gonna show you that my onions, my red onions is also washed. I soak in the water, so it will be easy for me to, to peel and it's also clean it. I started with the cleaning it, and then it's, when it's wet, it's easy to clean and save this. This is clean, save that, okay. I'm gonna wash chop my red onions here. Make sure your knife is very sharp. If your knife is not sharp, you're gonna slip, fly, and cut yourself. I'm gonna add soy sauce, a tablespoon or, a, or one and a half tablespoon of soy sauce and oyster sauce. You can do either one or both. If you only have soy sauce, that's fine too. Let that cook, let the chicken absorb the flavor by cutting the vegetables. So I'm gonna come here, cut my red onion. I am using red onions because colorful vegetable are good for you. You can use any kind of onion. I like red because it gives nice color and it's also good for you. And this end, don't throw it out, save this. Okay, so that's what I have. Just once in a while, come here and stir this. Make sure, make sure the chicken is cooked. You want it to be like 90% cooked. Sometimes you need to cover, sometimes you don't. Okay, let's come back here. I'm adding three different kind of peppers here for different color. And just pour this out. No need to do anything fancy, they come right off. Okay, just pour it out. That one has a baby inside. You can either cut it this way. Okay, I'm gonna cut them in different shapes with different peppers. You can do that or you can cut them all in the same shape. Okay. Cut this in thin slice. Okay. This has a lot of water so they'll cook fast. Again, pull this out, very easy. And this one, I'm gonna slit, 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 and cut in smaller pieces. Okay, and here's some bread. 
Oh, let me add this first. I have here jalapeno. If you like spicy, forget those bell peppers. You want to add my friend's hot pepper here. If this is Thai chili, I'm going to add the whole thing in here. Because for some people that don't like spicy, you want to add whole pepper like that. Okay, I'm just going to cover for a few seconds to make sure that the chicken are cook. Okay, if you like spicy, you forget about everything. You just add all this. Does my hair get in there? <laughs> this is very little spicy. And I'm adding the seeds so I will never ever take the um, hot pepper seeds off, okay? And this one, you either cut it in the rings like this, or I will show you another way. I will never ever cut, take the hot pepper seeds off because it's a waste of time and money. You don't like spicy and you can just add less. Okay. You can either cut it this way and cut, of course, or you can do it this way. So there's a few different, do whatever you like, okay? If you do adding these hot peppers, you want to add them first because they need to cook a little bit more than the bell peppers. So you like spicy, you want to skip the bell pepper and add a lot of my friend's hot peppers. Okay. Let's do this. Don't cook everything too long. The overcooked, they don't kiss good. Okay. Let's cover from a few seconds until I'm finished cutting all this. Okay. We got to add some red because we want different color. I'm going to do some slits, 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 and cut a course. So you want to get different color. Of peppers, but these colorful peppers are a little more expensive. Okay, now I'm gonna add everything. See my knife here? I cut and I scoop this vegetable at at the same time. If you uh, stay right here, please. Okay. Now I'm going to mix it with both hands, exercise both arms. Now that you're adding bell peppers, do not cover because it's going to become a soup if you add, um, if you cover it. You're going to let it cook. You don't want to kill your peppers. You just want to cook it until it's cooked, until you can taste the freshness and the sweetness of peppers. See that you see all the good green from the hot peppers. From my thin hot pepper to the Thai chili and the jalapeno and the long hot peppers and you get purple from the red onion i don't know why we call red because it's purple and we get the yellow orange and red bell peppers okay you're gonna let this cook you'll come back to that right now i have scallion so they can see what I'm doing. So I like to cut all my herbs small so no one can take it out. So they don't have a choice but just to eat it because it's good for you. Herbs are good for you. Add a lot and add it to everything that you like. Okay, and this is basil. If you have Thai basil, that's great. You can grow them too. You can go to Home Depot and a lot of um, nursery that they sell Thai chili and Thai Thai basil, I'm sorry, Thai basil. Okay, chop them so nobody can take it out so they will eat it and it's good for you and more flavor to your dish. Okay. Yeah. A lot, a lot of herbs is make the fish taste good and good for you. I'm an herb girl. More herbs, better for you. Okay, let's come over here. 
Just give it another minute or so. See all this color? You already a good cook. You make your dish taste good. You want your dish to look nice. So you add different color because we have access to all kinds of flavor. Um, um, I mean, different color of fruits and vegetables. So add, add different color. You see, uh, don't cover it because again, it's gonna become a soup. You're gonna keep working your arms like this, exercise, exercise. Stir, stir, mix, mix. See, so good, exercise. You cook a good, healthy food and use exercise at the same time. Okay, I hope you guys cook this for your family because it's so easy. So I'm using the, I chopped up the chicken because I wanna show you how to cut it. Most of the time I'll use the ground chicken or ground turkey or ground any kind of meat that you like or shrimp, okay? All right, I'm gonna add my herb, a lot of basil and scallion. More herb is good for you. Mix it in, last minute. Again, don't kill it. More herbs make your food taste good and very, very good for you. Herbs are good. Okay, I'm going to turn up. Oops. <laughs> I'm so clumsy. Okay. It's still hot. It's still cooking. So turn it up before it's ready. If you look at the U.S., oh, it's not soft yet. It's not cooked. No, don't think like that. Few minutes. It only takes few minutes to cook your food. Okay. All right. I'm gonna clean up a little bit here. I'm gonna dish this. Okay. See how easy it is? Nothing was cooked ahead of time. We are doing it live right here. Everything is cooked right here, right now. Cooking is about putting the right ingredients together and how long to cook them. I do not like to turn on the oven and put things in there for hours, wasting gas and electric and time. And someone like this, you're adding heat to the house, you turn on the AC and you're turning on your oven. I would never ever turn on the oven in the summer. Okay, see all these colors? Using a wok is like a shape of a bowl. It's over like a halfway turn for you. So it's like you're mixing things in a bowl. So if you have a wok, you might cook all the time, but you do not need to have a wok. Just use a big frying pan, nice and deep. See all this color? Just clean it a little bit. See, very, very easy. Okay, we're gonna put it over here. Actually, I'm gonna taste this for you. Let me clean up and then I'm going to taste the food for you because you cannot taste it. I am sorry about that. So just save it the food. Okay. Now I'm going to move them a little bit closer to me so I can taste the food for you because you cannot taste it. All right, the rice is ready. See how easy it is? Something. See, nice and fluffy, come very close, please. See, nice and fluffy. I add coconut oil in here, you don't have to do that. I like plain rice. Okay, I'm gonna test this food for you. Oh, here they are. My coconut shell um, ladle. This is my red hot peppers right here. I'm gonna bite it. Okay, all right, let me taste it for you. I hope I can come to the library and cook for you guys so you can taste this soon. This is wood ear, it's have a nice texture. Mm. Everything just cooked just right. Not overcooked. Let me bite my friend hot pepper for you. Ooh. 
It's good. Woo. All right. None more dish. Very, very good. Okay. And this is the basil chicken. So you chop up all the basil. Mm. Very good. Remember, cooking is about putting the right ingredients together. Mm. In summer like this, you have a lot of basil. Make basil chicken, make some pork, beef, shrimp, whatever you like. I'm hungry. Yes. The chicken is not overcooked. It's only take a few minutes. All right. Anybody have any questions? That <clears throat> that was great. I'm starving now, of course. <laughs> when you used to cook, the whole building would fill with the aroma of your cooking. Everybody would get hungry. So anyone have any questions? I did send the recipes. Uh, as I kind of looked up people's emails that had registered. So I hope you got them all. But that mm -hmm. was wonderful, except I'm starving. 